album itself is like this expression of my musical ability fused into one package. You know, my guitar playing, my songwriting, uh, my jazz background, uh, my rock background, my blues background. So this album is like an expression of all the things that I, you know, believe in in music. You got your love in a silver cup. You got your armor on. You got your heart locked up. You're in hiding. You keep denying what you really need. What's interesting about Fernando is that he is, first of all, such an accomplished musician. Uh, he was one of the most well-respected bass players probably in the country. I had no idea he had, had this amazing talent for writing and singing. I find listening to his record that it, it's quite an interesting combination of styles. Um, I mean, there's a lot of jazz elements, rock elements, probably more R&B elements than anything else. Um, plus, he's a, an incredible poet on top of the whole thing. He somehow manages to turn everything into his own unique style. That keeps us together Sweet understanding Binding our hearts Though there's an ocean A difference between us The album itself has a lot of different directions because I, I'm like that as a musician. My first, my history, I've always been working on my band, my solo career, but meanwhile I was, you know, I had to support myself as a bass player. So when I met Lou Reed, I think he said, I love how you're playing, I'd like you to work with me. So anyway, we, we started working and, and we just got close. I guess I have to go back, I have met Marianne Faithful. She was looking for a bass player from Motown, which was really strange. So I played with her and we just kind of like hit it off. And uh, we got very close. It became like a very musical friendship relationship. The hard thing about my career is that everybody wanted to keep me, you know? <laughs> so that made it a little difficult for me to step out and show what I can do. A person who really was a big push on my, helping me realize that I should, um, Pursue myself as a singer is uh, Eric Clapton when I did the Arms Tour to raise money for multiple sclerosis with Jimmy Page and um, Jeff Beck, uh, Steve Winwood. And Eric Clapton told me that I, you should really pursue this and I feel I was wasting my talent. It's just finding myself as a side man. Chile, 89. On that concert was. Uh, Sting, Peter Gabriel, Shanae O'Connor. It's a weird way to test your music because I wasn't planning on doing something that big. I just wanted to play in some clubs here and there to see what happens. And the next thing you know, we're in front of 80,000 people. <laughs> yeah, it was um, it was a great feeling. You'll be walking on thin ice <laughs> on a very dark road. I've always like really wanted to be different and always trying to find something new. You'll be walking on thin ice on a very dark and lonesome road. You'll be walking on thin ice on a very dark and lonesome road. <laughs> Get a band. <laughs> I'm aware of things around me. You can say something about a tree or something, and that'll become a song to me. So everything around me is kind of like music to me. So I just feel it's my duty in some weird way through music to, um, to try to help people or get a message across.